So precious when you smile <laughs> yeah. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes <laughs> I just have to let you know your Good morning, Ephrata. I'm Barack Obama. I'm Clay. And I can I could fill your gas tank for twenty dollars when I was president. Yo, can you do it now? Though? I can't do that now. Oh. Gas prices just went skyrocketed. That's true. That really sucks. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge of the flag. He was Got skills? I, I, I hope you do. If you want to be trained in a fast growing technical career field for employment after high school, there are many exciting opportunities available for juniors and seniors at the Lancaster County CTC. Next year in architectural CAD design, plumbing, culinary arts, event planning and tourism services, management and others. Please see your school counselor today to get more information about open programs and for information on applying to the CTC. Biology students, don't forget to go to bio boot camp today after school in the cafe from 2.45 to 3.30. Go get your bio on. Attention, ninth and 10th grade students planning on attending college or another post-secondary school. Freshman. Yes. Freshman. We will be hosting a spring financial aid in night in partnership with the Pennsylvania Higher Education Assistance Agency, or FIA, on Thursday, May 10th. That's not tomorrow, that's next week, next Thursday, from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the EHS Auditorium. Come to learn more about career exploration, post-secondary planning, and student borrowing. Don't forget to bring your laptop and your parents, because I always forget my parents. This is a great opportunity to start planning for your future today. This announcement is for any student interested in learning about future military options tomorrow on Thursday, May 3rd, so, uh, 2018. I don't know why they have the, da the whole date there. Solanco High School will be hosting a military night from 6 to 8 p.m. All students in grades 9 through 12 are welcome to attend. During this evening, students will have the opportunity to speak with multiple military branches about job training, college funding, and military service. Stop down to check out the information flyer in the counseling office for more information. National Day of Prayer is tomorrow, May 3rd, which means today is May 2nd. It's a Wednesday. Just throwing that out there. All are welcome to meet at the flagpole at 7 a.m. to pray for our country and community. Now, over to Mary B. Benson with the news. News. You know, the dishonest media, they'll say... Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi is set to visit Pyongyang, North Korea shortly, the first time a Chinese foreign minister has visited North Korea in approximately a decade. Although the topics of the meeting are unknown, it is likely the representatives will be discussing the recent inter-Korean summit as well as the upcoming meeting between North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un and Chinese Premier Xi Jinping. It is expected that China is attempting to repair its relationship with North Korea after it had been strained for several years due to controversy over North Korea's ballistic weapons program. On this day in 2011, Osama bin Laden is killed by U.S. forces almost 10 years after he led terrorist group Al-Qaeda in the horrific September 11th attacks. He was 54 years old at the time of his death, and after just a 40-minute raid, he was shot along with one of his sons. President Barack Obama, who had been watching the raid via drone in real time, later made a televised announcement telling the American people, justice has been done. Did you beat your high score, Seth? Uh, I'm really bad at this game. <laughs> <laughs> now back to the main couch with lunch. Yo, today on the uh, lunch menu, we got that uh, popcorn chicken bowl with my uh, whole grain roll and margarine. Three cheese or ham and cheese croissant or a broccoli cheese and croissant? Mm, a turkey BLT flatbread. PB and J uncrustable. Taco salad. White potatoes. Steamed corn. Broccoli cauliflower salad. Chilled peaches. Fresh fruit. Or. And now over to the sports <laughs>
all of these people talking about broccoli and they don't know that broccoli is just a myth, guys. It's not real. What? Oh, God. Jeez. Are you kidding me? Anyway, no. in sports results, volleyball, oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> in sports resorts, volleyball lost at Garden Spot. Attention on current juniors, sophomores, and freshmen interested in playing fall sports. Sign-ups will be on Schoology again this year. Sign-ups will be available from May 1st through May 18th. Sign up today so, and don't put it off. Fall sports include boys and girls soccer. Slushy! Oh. Football, field hockey, girls tennis, girls volleyball, co-ed golf, and co-ed cross country. Today in sports, baseball is away at CV and softball is home versus CV. Now back to the main desk. Pick on a senior day, bidding will be from May 1st to May 7th. You can bid on your favorite senior during homeroom and lunches in the cafeteria. The bidding will go up on increments by 25 cents. You can secure your senior by for $20. Get your bids in ASAP. Pick on a senior day, bidding ends on May 7th. Listen up, juniors! We at FRDM would, would be devastated if the morning announcement tradition of all this stopped after this year. If you are interested in being a part of this fun morning group, message Mr. Jamie Bischoff on Schoology for an application. It is worth a full credit and you will gain valuable skills that will help you after you leave high school and throughout the rest of your life. But Mr. Bischoff is not here today because he's on a field trip for his son because that's how good of a father he is. <laughs> message him. He might get back to you today or tomorrow. Let's go. What happened to the kid? Roll credits. <laughs>